So the first thing we did is we counted all the way around the unit circle using 15 degrees. But the unit circle doesn't use like 15 and 75 and 105 and, and 165. So we're going to get rid of those really quick right here. So we don't use those in our, our normal unit circle. Um, and then uh, we talked about these coordinates. Now these coordinates are pretty simple to find. Because it's a unit circle, uh, the, the distance between the origin and this point right here is 1. So this is 1, 0 because we don't go up or down, but we go out 1. And this one right here is 0 because we don't go left or right, but we do go up, and that's 1 right there. And then we start getting negatives. We have a negative 1, 0, and then we go down, and that's 0, negative 1. So, how do we find all of these other points on our unit circle? And that's, where we, that's why we did those special triangles. Okay, the first special triangle I want you guys to take and set on your unit circle so that it looks like this. You have a 45, 45, 90 right here. And you know something about this 45, 45, 90. You know what the measures of the legs are. Because you know the, the measures of the legs, you'll be able to tell me what the... The, the x value and what the y values are right here. So if this hypotenuse right here was 1, you guys know that the two legs, this is what we talked about earlier, you know that this leg right here is rad 2 over 2, and this leg right here is rad 2 over 2. Now if we know those two legs, we know what the x and y are. What's the x value for this point? Well, we look down here on the x-axis, we know that from the origin out to here, it's rad 2 over 2, so we write rad 2 over 2. And then we know that the, the distance from the x-axis all the way up, which is our y value right here, is also rad 2 over 2. And here, here you have it, guys. There's our x and your y. Uh, this is the, the x is from here to here, so that's your co-height. You're just used to co-height going from here to here. Um, but you can also do that from here to here. And then your height goes from the x-axis up to the point. So that's your regular height. So we have our height right there, and our co-height, right there. Now take your triangle and flip it over. Like I want this side right here to go all the way over here, and this point right here to stay on the origin so that your, your triangle looks something like this. And we could write um, our, our side measures right here. Side measures stay the same, it's still a 45, 45, 90. Now we know what the coordinates are for 135 degrees. What's different though? It's not just regular rad 2 over 2, rad 2 over 2. What's different? Yeah, which one's supposed to be negative? Come on, people. Yeah, that X right there. So now take this triangle and throw that triangle down. Just flip it. Take this vertice and flip it over. So now I have the triangle that looks like this. And then we have the same side measures here. And so then we would be able to find the same two numbers right here as this one. Almost. They're almost the same. Uh, what's the, what should be the difference about this point and this point? These should both be negative. So I'm going to put a negative uh, red 2 over 2 and a negative red 2 over 2 right there. And then finally, we flip over the triangle to our last quadrant. This is in quadrant 4 now. And now we know what the, uh, the coordinates are for 315 degrees. Still rad 2 over 2 and rad 2 over 2, but one of these is negative. Which one's negative, the x or the y? The y, and the x's are positive. The next triangle that I want you guys to do is going to be back in the first quadrant. Let's get rid of all these. So take your 30, 60, 90 degree triangle and put it right there. So, hey, students, what is the measure of that angle? That's a 30 degree angle. Did you guys put it there? Did you put the 30 degrees pointing at the origin? This should be 30 right here. This triangle right here can also be done with, your, with the same 30, 60 degree, 30, 60, 90 triangle. But this is the 60 degree triangle because the 60 degrees would be right there. All right, but let's stop talking about that guy. Let's talk about this guy right here, the 30, and then this is 60. So if this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle right here, what are the coordinates for that point? What's the X and what's the Y? Here's the 30 degree side right here. 
What did, what what were the measurements on your triangle that we figured out earlier using similar shapes? What is this? No, 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 no. One half is the smaller side. That's the 60 degree side. This side right here should say rad 3 over 2. Look at your triangle. Rad 3 over 2 and then one half. Now I want you to take this triangle and flip it over to the other side so that it would look like this. What are the coordinates for this one now? What's the X and what's the Y? What's the X, the X number for this is what? Rad 3 over 2. And then 1 half. Now, what is different about this, these coordinates and these ones? Yeah, the X is negative. That's what I just said. So take that triangle and flip it down to quadrant number three so that your triangle is lined up like this. Now you can tell me what the coordinates are for 210. What are the coordinates for 210? Yeah, they're the same thing, but they're both negative. And then we can put that triangle over here on this side. I hope that you guys have the triangle and you can flip it over and see. Um, at 330 degrees... Our coordinates are rad 3 over 2 and negative 1 half. All right, last one. That was our 30-degree triangle. Let's look at our 60-degree triangle right here. This is 60, and now the 30 is up top. So what are the, the coordinates for the 60-degree triangle? You have to look at your sides. You guys should have written the measure of the side right here on your triangle that we figured out, and you've written the, the length of this side. What is the x value right here? One half, and that's your co height. So we put our one half right here, and then what's our y value? What's our height? <clears throat> right, three over two. Now we could take that triangle and put it over here in this quadrant, and you guys can probably tell me what this is right here. What is it? Negative one half and right three over two. Very nice. There's your negative one half. Then we put that triangle down here, and look, it magically goes to the 240. So this is a 60 degree, tri 60 degree triangle still. We have, uh, which one's first, rad 3 over 2 or 1 half? 1 half is first, so we put negative 1 half, and we put negative rad 3 over 2. Then we also put the triangle over here. Still, 60 degrees is pointing at the origin, and our coordinates are these guys. But uh, the rad 3 over 2 is negative this time. Okay. Oh, oh no, I, I messed it up. This is supposed to be positive. That's supposed to be negative. Now, if you flip a couple of pages over, you guys will get to this. Some of you guys already knew it was here. Okay. Now, listen up. There's a reason why we did that with the triangles. You need to know this unit circle. You need to know all the coordinates, all the degrees, everything. So... Let's think about it for a second. Wouldn't it be much easier to memorize the three different numbers from our triangles and understand how to build it than memorize this? Yes, it would. I know some of you guys will still memorize it, but I'm hoping that using the triangles and using the 15 degrees to count all the way around would make it a lot easier to memorize this. Now, see what's in red? Which triangle was in red? The 30. Yeah, this is the 30 degree triangle in red. What about green? Which triangle was that? That was the 60 one, which is technically the same one, right? Yeah. But we're using the 60 degrees on the origin instead of the 30 degrees. And then the blue ones, those are, yeah, 45, 45, 90. Nicely done, students.